do is understand teeth need to go on a ridge. And that ridge now is where your teeth are landing. So therefore, if you've got a skeletal issue where you've got an upper maxilla or a lower mandible that's smaller or bigger, teeth still go on that ridge. And that's when we start to talk about the skeletal problems. So I learned very quickly that I can do some of these. I can maybe try to upright teeth. I can maybe try to put teeth on where the ridge is. And if you take the photos every three-month intervals, depending on what device you use, in this particular case, you can see simply every three months, teeth start to move. Now, look what's happening to the soft tissue. Look what's happening to the hard tissue. It's changing. It's actually molding itself. It's remolding itself. And this is where Dr. Singh started talks about the epigenic orthodontics. Now, I was calling this, look, I'm doing arch expansion. I'm doing root uprighting. When we start to study and understand that these sutures, the palatal sutures, are they really fused? Because you can clearly see that these teeth are starting to move into where the ridge is at, but you're changing the oral flora.